at this very early stage in our design, let's see how we're doing against our design budgets. Up here in the top right hand corner, you can see that I've specified a fabrication lot size of 25 units. And at that pricing, Sunstone will be able to manufacture these boards at $15.65 a piece. To in initiate that order, all I have to do is click this order button. Although I am keeping track of the parts as well, the schematic part symbols and the footprints mean that there's going to be a component cost that goes along with my board as well. I can use the Bill of Materials tab for my design to track the pricing and the uh, number of components that are included in my design so far. And this is an example of what the Bill of Material page, the Live Bomb page, would look like. For a moment, I'm just going to click the X button and put the edit panel away so that we have a full screen view of the bill of materials page. You can see the components section where it describes the part number, description, manufacturer, part packaging, and reference designators. The PC board section is the classic bill of materials view showing the quantity of each component specified for a build, board build of quantity one. The total order section multiplies that amount out by the uh, ma manufacturing lot size that you specified here. There's a place for you to add some notes and as you can see you can put digi-key part numbers in if they aren't already specified. For example, if you redefine a generic you can put in the, the digi-key part number for that part as you intend it to be ordered and that will set up your bill of materials. Please note also that there is a uh, final line item for the PCB fabrication itself for the board at $15.65 a piece and the total cost there as it rolls up. So you can get a look at the entire cost of your project here to do it as it currently stands $416.56 worth of componentry taking into account DigiKey price breaks. If I wanted to check the pricing at DigiKey I would click the check pricing now button. This performs a web query pulls down the uh, current pricing and availability information from DigiKey for these components and then if I wanted to proceed to the ordering of those parts I would click the order parts button and it would automatically populate the order form at DigiKey ready for me to click finish order or do a few other ads and send them along on their way. One other thing to know about the live bomb functionality inside PCB123 is that you can insert your own custom row and provide some information there that might be of value to you. For example, you want to might, might want to make sure that you have um, solder added to your order and with a part number from DigiKey of S200-ND, for example. That might be the solder that we prefer to use. And then by including that there, when I click on the order parts button, you'll see that my solder has been included in the order as well. 